What's up guys? I'm out here on the patio watching college football. First big week of the season and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the information that we've gotten on the 2022 Toyota Tundra. The last 48 hours have been pretty big in my opinion. Um, you know, pretty exciting or disappointing depending on what side of the fence you're on with this new truck coming out. I'm seeing a lot of both sides but anyway I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we've learned over the last 48 hours, the pictures that we've seen, the information that we've gotten um, that's been leaked and then of course I want to talk to you a little bit about my plans for this channel and what I'm going to do with the 2020 Platinum that we've been building. I want to hear from you guys on that so stay tuned to the end of the video um, on that and I, I want your opinion. So let's jump right in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pictures up on your screen as I'm going. I'm sure most of you have probably seen these pictures already um, but if not I will put them on the screen as we're going. First picture I'm going to throw up there. It's a picture of the interior. Now, the first thing I'm going to address is the obvious. When you look at this picture, you cannot miss that gigantic screen uh, uh, in the middle of the dashboard. <laughs> it looks to me like it's a 12 inch, um, most likely, and it just looks massive. Now, I know this isn't going to be everybody's thing, everybody's forte, some people are going to hate it. I've already heard people saying that it's too big, they don't like it sticking above the dash, blah, 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 blah. Me personally, I actually think I'm going to love that. Now, none of us are going to know until we see this thing in person. You can't really go all that much off pictures alone, but I personally think I'm going to love that screen on the new Tundra whenever I get this truck, whether it's sooner or later. That 12 inch screen, again, I'm guesstimating 12 inch, that's what it looks like. Um, I, I don't know, me, I think it looks really good there and I, I'm, I'm excited to see what you're gonna be able to access on that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm liking that feature. As far as what everything else that you see in this photo, no other real surprises. Of course, the driver's side grab handles back, it's one of, you know, one of the fan favorites. Um, and then, you know, the, the um, the dial selector behind that shift knob, that's where you select your tow haul or your MTS or your crawl mode. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about that in my last interior video. So no other real surprises on the interior from what we can see here. Um, so that about covers that picture, uh, you know, really in pretty good detail. This next picture I'm gonna put up on your screen, it's just, you can see the middle of the, the interior a little bit better. You can see that screen a little bit better. You can see that dial a little bit better. Um, again, no real surprises. I do like the the sleekness and the, the look of it. I, you know, I, I do like the interior design from what I can see so far. Next up, I'm gonna put um, a couple, maybe two or three pictures on your screen. And again, these have been all over the internet. Um, so just some exterior pictures of the truck. Now, again, no real surprises. One thing I do notice is in the picture I'm gonna put up right now, this picture, you can tell if you look closely enough, it's a double cab and a crew max side by side. And the reason you can tell is if you look at the rear door, you can obviously see that the truck on the left has a smaller rear door, truck on the right has the larger rear door, which is the crew max, of course. Now, obviously they went to, uh, let's talk about the double cab real quick. They did go to, um, they no longer have the hidden handle on the rear doors, as you can see in the picture. They have, uh, you know, the exterior or, you know, the, the same door handles that are on the crew max. So just something little that I noticed. If you zoom in on that picture, um, you can tell that the double cab still has the tri, whatever you want to call it. it. It looks like it still has the same type of window that are on the current double cabs where you have the two side panes and then the middle pane that most likely will slide back and forth or whatever. We'll have to wait to see exactly what happens on that. Of course, the Crew Max still has the, the one piece big window in the back, which we know is going to slide down. Um, thank God Toyota kept that feature. We talked a little bit about that in past videos, but the Crew Max still has the same type of window. You can see um, the picture I'm going to put up right here. You can kind of tell this is the double cab, and you can see the back window and what I'm talking about. It looks like it still has that middle piece that will hopefully slide or, or whatever the case may be for you double cab guys. Now, speaking of this picture, one of the other things that I've noticed is if you look at the rear bumper, it... <laughs> I don't know, it kind of, I actually missed this at first. And then I was went back and looking over the pictures and that kind of thing, and it kind of caught my attention. And a lot of other people are talking about this as well on social media. If you look at that rear bumper, it's like, it's raised up underneath the taillights, kind of. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that or not yet. Um, I, I'm gonna have to wait and see a little bit more about that, but that's just something that I've noticed, um, you know, in, in these pictures that that rear bumper is, 
you know, just seems to be, I don't want to say out of place. It just looks different from what we're used to. All right. So not much else we can learn from these photos that we don't already know. I still don't like them fender flares. Some of you may, some of you might not. I, I'm just not a fan of those little fender flares. I, I don't know. I'm hoping you could either take them off or maybe color match or something. I'd have to do something with those little fender flares. I'm not a fan of those at all. All right. Um, so exterior wise, again, really, we don't know much more on the exterior. These pictures didn't really tell us more than what we already know. But the biggest thing I want to talk about is this next picture that I'm going to put up on your screen. I don't know where this picture came from. No one seems to know where it came from, um, from what I've seen. But it's a what I'm going to call a build sheet. It looks like a sheet where you can go to, I don't want to say Toyota's website because you can't do it on Toyota.com unless I completely miss something. I've looked. Um, but it's basically a build sheet to build your 2022 Tundra. Now, many things jump off this screen for me. Let's start with the basic and then we'll kind of work our way down into the options. The, the One of the first things that I've noticed is Toyota kept all of the same trims. The SR, the SR5, the Limited, the Platinum, even the 1794. If you look at this pay, at this picture, all of those same trims are available. Now, I don't see the TRD Pro listed on here, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, I don't want to get ahead of myself and say too much because I don't know. Um, but the TRD Pro does not is not listed on this on this picture on the sheet that we're seeing here. One of the other things, looking at all the trims. And this is a biggie because this has been something that's been debated between us Tundra guys, guys for as long as I can remember. The bed. You can now, from what it looks like, you can now get a long bed with the Crew Max. That is going to be huge for a lot of guys. Now, I personally am not really a fan of the long bed, meaning the 8-foot bed. But I would like a standard bed, a 6.5 on a Crew Max. Um, so that's pretty big for, for a lot of us, if not most of us, the, just the, uh, having that option to get the larger bed if we choose it. All right. So that's definitely something that I, one of the things that really kind of jumped out, of course, if you look here, you can see it's the 10 speed auto automatic transmission. Um, and again, it just lists all the different trims that I mentioned, the SR, SR5, Platinum, Limited, 1794, which a lot of people thought the 1794 was going to be gone. Um, but as you can see. If this information is correct, the 1794 will still be um, an option for us Tundra lovers. All right, so now let's go down into the factory accessories, the next kind of the middle of the screen there. Um, I, I, got, I should say middle to the bottom half. This is kind of where I, I was pretty pumped about, about this section here. So, of course, you can see, you know, it had, you still get the premium audio with JBL. That's you know some guys can take it or leave it that is what it is you know you could always go after market with the audio system but there are a couple other things down below that i saw on this that i am extremely excited for all right so again you can see the limited premium package i'm not exactly sure what that means but underneath that the limited pvm package what that stands for pvm and correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure it stands for panoramic view it's basically the bird's eye view and this is a big feature if you watched my last video, one of my last videos when we talked about this truck. I was hoping and praying that the 2022 ha had, had this feature. It's kind of like the bird's eye view camera system. I'm going to love that feature. And this is where I'm getting kind of torn on what I want to do with my current 2020 Platinum that we've been building. Because looking at these interior, well not even interior, that's actually an exterior option, but it's I guess it's kind of both <laughs> if you think about it, but looking at these options you can get with the next gen, I'm really torn on what to do here. So PBM, the panoramic view, that's going to be an awesome feature to have on the Tundra. If you go down, the next line says limited power package. I'm not exactly sure what that is. None of us really know that yet. But the line below that, limited and platinum power fold BSM plus PBM mirror. So looks like it's going to come with... Um, Power folding mirrors, of course. Also the BSM blind spot monitor, and then again that PVM, and then the MTM. That MTM, sorry, I had a, a B or a wasp land on my arm there. So anyway, that MTM stands for um, multi-terrain monitor. 
monitoring, something similar. Basically what it means is when you're off-roading, you're going to be able to, you know, with cameras and on your on that big 12-inch screen that we have now, you're going to be able to kind of monitor the terrain as you're off-roading or rock crawling or whatever you're doing. So not only do you have the PVM, the panoramic view, um, you also, you're going to get the M MTM. And if you're not familiar with, with what exactly these options are, I'm not going to go into crazy detail on this video. There's plenty of videos out there that explain what those options are. Um, but in my opinion, they're going to be pretty big for us Tundra guys and you know to finally have them on our truck next line down limited um, BSM tow mirror so they're gonna they're, um, they're gonna offer tow mirror nothing crazy there you know they, they do that now offer the tow mirror it will have the BSM the blind spot monitoring um, next line is the limited platinum 1794 BSM plus PVM tow mirror so it looks like you can also get the tow mirrors with the blind spot monitoring and the panogram panoramic view the very next line is one of the things that really kind of jumped off the page to me because I, with a, along with a lot of others, did not think that we were going to get this. Air suspension option. It looks like it's, you know, obviously it's an option you can add. It's not, it doesn't come stock from what we can see. It may on the TRD Pro. I, I'm not exactly sure. Again, we'll have to wait and see. But at least we see it as an option. Now, that's pretty big and you guys know if you follow the channel I don't do a whole lot of off-road and I you know I don't really I do some but it's minimal and it's not what I would call heavy by any means I'm just excited to have an air suspension option again if you're not familiar with what that is plenty of videos out there going over it but that's gonna be a nice feature that I think a lot of guys are gonna opt for and uh, time will tell you know if that's you know gonna be one of the more popular add-ons that you can do with the 2022 but I think that's gonna be a pretty good feature to have and a pretty good option to have if you so choose then of course down below that we have the TRD off-road package the panoramic sunroof which we already knew that we covered that in one of the last videos um, and then the last option underneath there is heated leather steering wheel now I don't know why the Tundras have not had this my wife's RAV4 has a heated steering wheel why they didn't include that in the Tundras in the past I have no clue but at least we get it now that comes in handy for us northern guys who don't like the cold so much um so heated steering wheel as an option coming up next to our all-weather floor liners cargo floor mats um i'm sorry carpet floor mats nothing crazy there and then the bottom is the special color i'm not exactly sure what that means so i guess we're gonna have to kind of wait and see on that and you know go from there i, I don't know what special color you know i, I don't know what what that is like <laughs> I'm sure you can't just order this truck in any color that you want, so we'll have to wait and see. But as I mentioned, guys, a lot of good information came out within the last 48 hours on this truck. And, I mean, the biggies that I'm pretty excited for are I want to see the air suspension. I do think I would order the truck with that if I was ordering today. And then, of course, you know, the the, the PVM, the, the panoramic view, the MTM, that multi-terrain monitoring, those are going to be good features for us. And um, I mean, I'm also excited, as we mentioned in past videos, the sunroof and just the little things that they've done um, to make this truck, you know, more com more of a competitor in the truck market these days. And, you know, so I think that's what we all been waiting to see and, and, you know, hoping that they would bring this 2022 Tundra up to speed, so to speak. Now, plans for the channel. I need you guys to chime in here a little bit. Let me know what you think. I'm torn. I absolutely love my 2020 Platinum. Exterior wise, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like the new gen, but I'm not a hundred I'm not sold on it, the exterior wise. Um, I do like my 2020 Platinum. I do like our third gens much better as far as exterior look than I do the next gen. I'm sure it'll grow on me. It usually always does. But where we sit today, I, I'm I'm I like my MGM 2020 Platinum much more than the next gen exterior look wise. Now with that being said, interior is what's really, really causing my struggle. <laughs> As we all know, I mean, I've done a lot of mods to this 2020 Platinum, interior and exterior. But I'm torn on what to do here because the, the new features and the upgrades on the next gen, the 2022, that's what really has me thinking, you know, do I want to get this truck this fall as opposed to waiting a year and seeing what happens? I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I love that panoramic sunroof, moonroof, whatever you want to call it. The new PVM and MTM that we talked about, I really am going to like those features. I love the big 12-inch screen. I like the sleek design of the interior. 
so I'm torn, guys. Help me out here. What do you guys think we should do? Should we hang on to the 2020 Platinum for another year or so? Maybe do some more mods to that. Consider a supercharger. I was on the fence with that. I Actually, at one point, I, I was 100% convinced I was going to put a supercharger in this current truck that we have. I don't know what to do. You know, should I hang on to this 2020 Platinum, keep building it, maybe change some things out, maybe put a different lift on it? Who knows? I, tell me what you guys think. Or should we just kind of bite the bullet, get rid of this 2020 Platinum that I love, that I've built with my bare hands. I've done all the mods myself, as you can see on the channel. You know, we have we have videos covering just about everything on this channel that we've done to that truck. And, uh, you know, bite the bullet, get rid of it, and get the 2022 and, you know, kind of start building that from the ground up. Tell me what you guys think. I need some help here, guys. I can't make my mind up. I want to see what you guys have to say. Any questions or comments on what you've seen here today in the video, let me know. I'll keep you guys posted as we learn more and more about this next gen coming up. And hopefully we'll have a release date soon enough. All right, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.